We are back with our week-long look at religion, faith in America. Any tally of the world's great religions has to include Buddhism, an ancient tradition and discipline that has hundreds of millions of followers around the world. It's less familiar, though, in this country, but there are signs that's starting to change, and in some places you might not expect. A report from NBC's Ron Mott. An idyllic country setting, rustic barns, endless fields of corn, church steeples, and sounds from the Far East, rising steadily over this patch of the Midwest. Buddhism, part religion, part philosophy, is chanting toward wider acceptance in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is what I look at, like about the meditation is there's no pressure to uh, say you're a Buddhist or say you believe in this God or that God. God, Buddhist followers contend, isn't the focus. Ending suffering, they believe, caused by human cravings, is. The monk's faith and traditional orange robe appear out of place with the landscape, but not out of step with 17-year-old Amber Brayton and her Christian parents next door. I think it's amazing, I won't lie. I had them write down some stuff, it's definitely different. Six temples have opened here in the past decade, a response to an influx of thousands of Southeast Asian immigrants. In humble quarters like this farmhouse turned house of worship, a fourth of the members are American born. There's been a lot of interest throughout American history in the exotic and the different, particularly in the spiritual realm. There is no better illustration of how Buddhism is growing here beyond living rooms and basements than this, a new temple set to open later this year. It will be the area's largest by far, built with $360,000 in donations from around the country. And when the racket stops, 21-year-old college student Stephanie Noon and her fellow Buddhists will relocate their prayers. She got into Buddhism about a year ago through volunteer work at a community center. A small Buddhist shrine hangs in her bedroom. How has it changed the direction of your life? It's changed my outlook on a lot of things. I used to have a lot more anxiety and worry. Now she says she's more enlightened. Ron Mott, NBC News, Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're back in a moment here with our Friday Night Making a Difference report. It's about fighting back without ever throwing a punch.